for this project, we're going to be learning the grid method. The grid method is simply a photo that has a grid. You're drawing it larger on a separate sheet of paper. But for this first project that you're going to do, I have this handout for my students that are in class. If you are um, completing your work remotely, you're just going to use a separate sheet of paper and I'll show you how to do that in the video. So on the top of your photo, these are going to be letters. A, B, C, D, and E. Going down are the numbers. So one, two, three, four, and five. On our larger grid, it's gonna be the same thing with the numbers going down. So I'm just gonna write them very small so we could see how to follow our grid. So when you're drawing, you're focusing on a smaller scale and you're sizing it up. So row A1, all you see is a small corner and notice if I break this into fourths, it only takes up the small bottom part of the square. So on this large square, I need to make sure that I keep this wing small. It doesn't take up half of it, it only takes up a fourth of that square. B1, the wing curves over. So this is the first wing. It's a little bit thick. The lines are thicker. It also has the top of the second wing curving up about halfway on this side. It didn't go all the way up. C1. So here's C, there's one. All you see is a wing coming down. And if I break this line, this square into two, it takes up about half of it. So with this big square, about half of that square should be the wing. And there's a little line right here. You keep following your squares. So D1, top of the hat. So on this one, there's lines. One, two, three, four. And then right here is a little circle. Notice how my lines are thick because on that printout, the lines are also thick. They're not thin. E1. You're coming back and closing off his little hat. Okay. Slide over to the next row. A2, A2. The wing starts in the corner, goes out and then curves back up. There's a line here and there's a curve right there. B2, there's lots of lines in there, so take your time. Look at each of this, each of those lines. C2, you see a side of his face right here. We also see the antenna curving and the other side of the wings. D2, there's no eye, but I could see an eyebrow right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and draw this eyebrow. It almost touches a corner. It's a little bit less than the corner. And we see the GP hat. D, I'm sorry, E3. A little bit of the eye right there. 
and close off that hat. Move over to the next row, A3. All you see is the tail. If I break this down, it only takes off a fourth. So this one, if I break it into fourths, it's only right here. And almost the entire thing is shaded in black for the stripe. Keep going, and I'm just gonna move on fast to try to get this sketched out for you. You should get the idea of following your squares. This square right here, it's the majority of it is black. Right here you see a little bit of the side of the face. And then shade it in. D3 and E3 is where you see the face of the yellow jacket. So at the very bottom, we have the chin and you have the teeth. This square E4, if I break this square down the center, about half of my square is where the face should be. So from here to here, about halfway curve it and draw whatever you see happening within that square so here's his nose the eye this one right here is where the other eye is at and a little bit of the brown Done. Move on to your next row and just keep on going. Pay attention to the number of the stripes. Don't add more or don't make them too skinny. So here is one, two, three, four, and then that one would be five. One, two, three, four, and that one would be our fifth one. There's four small ones right here. Shade them in. I'm gonna slide my paper off. That way I have this corner of the tail. Next squares, legs. This is pretty much black. Add his other leg, his shoe. One of it hangs down. The other one is on this line going over to D4 and 5. Here are his gloves. This square, the majority of this square becomes the gloves. Almost touches that line. D and E, four and they have the gloves. So draw them in, shade. you should have your yellow jacket done. Make sure you take a picture, turn it in. For students that do not have the handout, grab a regular piece of paper. What you're gonna do, you're gonna go straight across. From here to here, find the middle point. Make a little line there, here to here, middle point here to here, middle point. So you're pretty much breaking this top section into fourths. Okay. 
over to the side. We have one, two, three, four, five. So what I'm gonna do here, about that much, just rotate it over. That would be, I'm gonna go ahead and let it be four lines. So that's one, two, three, four, and five. So students at home, just grab a regular piece of paper, draw your squares on there, and everything that I just did on here, now you're gonna apply it inside of your paper since you don't have the handout. Um, you're still gonna be able to go in, and draw all of the details, the wings, the lines, the tail, but you're using a regular piece of paper versus the handout.